Hi, my name is Daniel Westbrook. I'm with Westbrook Restorations here, and we're in an attic of a historic home. And what we're doing up here is we're actually, the, 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 if you can look in front of me here, there's some lath and plaster down here. That lath and, lath and plaster over time has begun to crack and fail to the point where it's going to need to replacement. Uh, but the other thing that we're going to do is, is these uh, ceiling joists have quite a long span and there was nothing in here to uh, solidify that span to make it one sort of diaphragm so it didn't have so much sagging and vibration going on which is what's caused a lot of the damage in the ceilings below. So what we're doing here is you can see these two by sixes in front of me here. This, these are going to become a strong back. So what we're doing is we're putting strong backs in here, which is simply just a beam uh, made out of these two by sixes, where we secure everything together and make it one, uh, so that in the future this type of damage doesn't occur. And uh, that's what we're doing up here. And we get into these little kinds of jobs like this. We're going to show you the ceilings down below in a little minute. I just wanted to give you a little update of what we're doing here. Okay, so I just want to point out how much of a sag there is in these ceilings. It's about three quarters of an inch. This two by six is sitting uh, solid on either end, but this is how much sag there is. So we're going to have to lift the ceiling up when we secure these strong backs together. Okay, so here we are in the bedroom down below where we're working from the attic above. We've installed a post and we've pushed our attic rafters back up. Now. We've taken the pressure off, but pushing them all the way back up is almost putting too much pressure on the floor down below. So we're stopping right there so we don't cause further damage to the existing structure, which is why when we're doing this, we're very careful to be very surgical about our work so we're not causing more damage when we're fixing something up above. Okay, I just wanted to point out that there isn't any gap here anymore. We've lifted the ceiling from down below. We've solidified our strong backs. And up here in the attic, I'm in the middle of this diaphragm, and I, the deflection is so much less. The vibration is so much less. And this is a very simple technique that can be used to uh, solidify these ceilings together with, to minimize uh, damage in the lath and plaster um, in the future. So I just wanted to point this out. We've got the rest of the attic to do, so we're going to be up here for another four days. Uh, so, but just wanted to point out something uh, with these old homes. This is very simple to do. I'll talk to you later. This is Daniel Westbrook. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.